Hi, it's time to cook again. Okay, so here in Houston, it's hot. It's a little bit humid, hasn't gotten too bad yet, but it's hot. So I started wanting cold foods to drink. Like I made the fresh corn salad the other day. Um, I'm gonna make gazpacho later this week, but right now I'm gonna make tabbouleh. Okay, you're going, what the heck is that? I never heard of that. How do you pronounce it? What is it? Tabbouleh. It's basically a fresh vegetable salad with wheat germ in it. So it does have some starch, the wheat germ. And if you've never seen wheat germ, this is it. It's just a fine little grain. I don't know if you can see. You can get it at most grocery stores. If not, I know you can get it at Whole Foods. So we start with one cup of wheat germ. Dump it in a big bowl. I'm going to add one quarter cup lemon juice, one quarter cup olive oil. Let me pour that out. I have to buy an extra measuring cup. One quarter cup olive oil, one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt, and then one and a half a cups of boiling water. Okay. But we're just going to mix this all up, make sure it's well combined. And this is going to sit off to the side for an hour. And the wheat germ is going to absorb all these wonderful flavors. And when we come back, we'll add all of the lovely vegetables that go with it. This is going to expand, basically double in size, size kind of like rice. Um, but trust me, this is really, really good, even if it sounds funny. Um, you're going to see. All right, I'm gonna set this aside now for an hour so it absorbs all of the liquids and then we'll be back and add the rest of the ingredients. It's really good, so don't go away. Okay, I'm back. It's been an hour and the wheat germ oil, lemon juice and salt is all in here and look how fluffy the wheat germ is. There's a little bit of, of the juice left, but that's good because it, We'll dress the rest of the ingredients. Okay, first of all, it calls for one hot house cucumber. Sometimes they're called English cucumbers, but they're the long, skinny cucumbers that come in the plastic wrap. They're wonderful. Anyway, they like this. You do not peel them. I've cut up the rest of it. I just wanted to show you that to do this, you cut it in half, and you actually scrape out the seeds in the middle. It keeps the um, salad from being too watery. I just take a spoon and go down like this on each side, real easy, real fast. It gets the seeds out of the middle. Okay. Once you've done that, you just dice it into medium dice. That's about bite size. You don't want them too big or too small. So it takes one whole cucumber for that. This is easy. You don't even have to peel. I love it. Okay. So one whole hothouse cucumber goes in here. Two cups of chopped cherry tomatoes and usually just chop them in half. That's perfect. So that goes in next. Now come the spices. I've got two teaspoons of salt and one teaspoon of pepper. Sprinkle that around. I've got one cup of chopped fresh parsley. That goes in. One cup of chopped green onions or scallions, and you can use the white and the green part. I use both. And then it calls for one cup of mint. I only put in half a cup of mint because I think it kind of overpowers it, but if mint's your favorite thing, put in the whole cup. And then we just stir. Get all this stir. Look how beautiful this is. The red and the green and the kind of beige color from the wheat germ. I know wheat germ sounds weird, but trust me, this is really delicious. You gotta try. Okay, that's all you do. The salad is ready. However, it's best if you know you're having company to make this ahead of time, like in the morning. Let it set for a couple of hours and all those flavors just kind of soak together and it's even better. Oh, you can eat it right now. That's it. It's a wonderful, cool summer salad. Actually, I eat it all year round, but um, Give it a try. If you're going on a picnic or you're just having people over for a barbecue, it's perfect. Give it a taste for salt and pepper. Mm. Perfect, perfect. You gotta try this one. Again, tabbouleh, 
wonderful summer salad. Surprise your guests. They're going to love it. You'll be a hit. And they'll think you spent all day making it. Thanks for joining me.